Anyone who has ever played golf can certainly tell you it is not the easiest game. It's even harder when you are missing an arm or a leg. Balance, balance in the swing. So every time I go forward after the swing, I lose my balance. Researchers from the USF School of Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation Sciences are investigating ways to help amputees improve their golf games. Well, as much as they can. How could they benefit? Could we make some changes to their biomechanics to improve their efficiency and performance with the task? In 2008, we introduced you to Dr. Highsmith and his team's research on prosthetic devices for rock climbing. They've since turned their attention from great heights to great drives, first with a study of devices for golfers missing an upper limb. We looked at two hand devices. This was one of them uh, to see which of the two maximizes club head speed, which you could assume then would increase ball speed. And in meeting with local duffers without a leg or a foot, they now know that there's many people who would benefit from improving devices like this torsion adapter. And that would be important to allow normal biomechanics, number one, and number two, to decrease shear forces on the skin, protect the skin a little bit. You can count Loy Ho among those who welcome USF's work. Missing a right leg at birth, the prosthetic device designer was playing golf for the very first time on the day we met her. It feels good. It feels really good when you see the ball, not on the ground, up in the air, you know. For University Beat, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information on this University Beat or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.